And resuming the ball game, Miami Heat, Utah Jazz, 2.43 left in the second quarter. 42-27 Miami. Gordon Hayward on the right side, inside to Price up for two. And the score is 42-29. Little alley-oop there. And uh, I'd like to see more of that as this team develops. Oreo bringing it up the right side into Bosch. Linda LeBron cutting into the middle, looking, scanning, finding nobody. Back out to the top of the key. LeBron, right hand, left hand, scanning, comes in powerfully with the left, up for two, no good. Rebound Jefferson to Darren Williams in the open court. LeBron scanning, James. not finding anybody. LeBron James looking a bit sluggish today. Um, we'll see uh, how that continues throughout the game. And Millsap misses hook shot. LeBron rebounds into Wade and slams it home in the open court. Slamma jamma. LeBron James, not the only one on this team who can throw down, I'll tell you that. No doubt about the fact that all stars are in tandem on this Miami Heat team. Darren Williams with the ball at the top of the key, feeding it inside to Watson. Feeds Millsap in the post. Millsap looking powerful right hand into Jefferson and misses it off the front of the iron. Rebounded by Wade. Wade looking, scanning, almost gets it stolen, and a foul whistled on Darren Williams, his second of the ballgame. 129 left in the second half, 44-29 Miami. Wade a little bit out of control with that rush of energy after that sweet slam. Uh, gets away with a foul, though, and, well, that's good enough for me. And there's no doubt about the fact, Sam, that Dwayne Wade has a lot of player control fouls compared to other players in the league. Uh, he's powerful, he's fast in the open court, but oftentimes out of control. First free throw up and good for Wade. And you can see the angled stance Dwayne Wade uses with his free throws. Hasn't always shot like that. If you go back to his college videos, he's straight on. Even just a few years ago, straight on. Eventually started moving the left foot back. And as time has gone on, he's just gotten more and more and more angled because he's found it just produces better percentage for him. And 86% free throw shooter makes the second, so Sam, it looks like it's working out for him. Absolutely. Darren Williams bringing the ball up the court. Scanning, what a good orchestrator on this Utah Jazz team. Millsap from 15 feet passes over to Watson, mid-range jumper, and it's no good rebounded by Bosch, the second leading rebounder on this Miami team. Bosch just kind of effortlessly glides up there for the rebound. LeBron finds Arroyo in the corner and it's good. What a pure stroke from Arroyo there from the left corner. Arroyo doing an excellent job of filling in on this Miami Heat team. Being a bit of a role player but somewhat being kind of the glue of this team that holds it all together. And Gordon Hayward fires a three from the right wing. No good. Rebounded way to LeBron in the open court. Looking has it stripped but a foul whistled on Raja Bell. And the Jazz picked up Raja Bell from the Suns, Sam. A great role player for this Jazz team. Phenomenal defender. The Jazz uh, getting aggressive here in the end of the second quarter, trying to get a few more points in before, before the half as they are down by 20 points already. Not a very promising start for this ballgame. And Sam, this is a, a dominant presence by the Miami Heat early in this ballgame. You know, the Jazz were thinking that Darren Williams might be injured for this game. He was on a day-by-day -day basis. But this kind of score is just unprecedented, seeing as the Jazz have their full cast in the ballgame. They're just getting completely outplayed. And defensively, and that's what I like about this Miami Heat team, is they're proving to us, once again, that they can not only play very good offense, but powerful defense as well. Darren Williams finds Jefferson in the middle, has it stripped. Rajah Bell picks it up, and it's good for three. Gets in his bucket before the half. Rajah Bell knows when to take shots, Sam. He's not over-anxious, and that a phenomenal jumper. 23 seconds left in the half, 51-32 Utah Jazz. Dwayne Wade idling. Wade in an ISO position. Looks like he's going to try to take this for himself. Quick crossover. Wade looking, looking, finding Arroyo in the corner. Drives into the middle. Fake over to Haslam. Haslam out to LeBron. Fires a three at last second, and it's no good. Air ball. 6.3 seconds. We'll see what the Utah Jazz are going to do with this. Um, and Sam, Jerry Sloan is one of the best in the league at drawing up plays with minimal time left in ball games. So we expect to see something special here at the end of the second half. Darren Williams picking up the ball. Left hand. Fake. Finds Millsap in the middle. Goes up and it's a foul on Chris Bosch. His second of the ball game. Bosch uh, 
not a great foul to get in right before the half. Only 3.3 seconds left. Um, Especially not a good foul, Sam, considering the fact that the Miami Heat are in foul trouble early. And this is something that's plagued this team so far this year in the early beginnings of this 2010 season. Uh, LeBron, Wade, and Bosh, respectively, finding themselves in foul trouble often. And Millsap, <clears throat> shooting his second, fires away, and it's no good. Rebounded by Bosh with just seconds left. LeBron, left hand, fires it from the middle of the court. No good. Doesn't even hit backboard. That's the end of the half for you, ladies and gentlemen. 51-31. Uh, Miami Heat over the Utah Jazz, an authoritative first half here for the Miami Heat.